immediately defined. Now, Florida real estate license law mandates the time frame for depositing escrow funds. Sales associates who receive a binder deposit from a customer or a client must deliver it to their broker employer no later than the end of the next business day. That's important. Now, when a sales associate or an employee, such as the receptionist of the brokerage company, whoever, accepts funds on behalf of the brokerage company, the broker is the one that's accountable for the funds. Therefore, it's extremely important that brokers train their personnel regarding the importance of turning over all the escrow money or earnest money in a timely manner. So brokers must place trust funds themselves into the escrow account immediately. But here it means no later than the end of the third business day after the sales associate or the employee was supposed to hand it to the broker. This is also important and we're going to come to an example to illustrate. Now, the first day of the three business day period for the broker coincides with the day that the sales associate is supposed to turn it over to the broker. For example, assume a sales associate receives a binder deposit on Tuesday. No legal holidays are involved. The sales associate has until the end of the next day, right? Which would in this case be Wednesday to give the money to the broker. Wednesday, therefore, is the first day that the broker has for their three days. So now the broker has until the end of the third business day, which in this case would be Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, three days out to deposit the funds. Now the three business day time period for the broker to deposit the funds begins on the day that the sales associate has to give it to the broker, not the day that the sales associate was given the money. So in the example we just did, the first day of the three-day period was Wednesday. I'll give you a count, and normally we'll count it zero, one, two, three. So the sales associate got the money on Tuesday, that's day zero. They have to have the money turned over to the broker by the end of the next day. So Tuesday, Wednesday, that starts day one for the broker, then Thursday, and then finally Friday, the last day that the broker has to get it into the account. Now, a broker does not have to wait until the third business day. They can deposit it earlier. The broker can also get the deposit directly without anyone being involved. When computing the days for the broker, you do not count the first day in the broker's three days. Now, the first day of the three business day period always begins on the day that the funds are given to the brokerage. The same three-day rule applies. So the broker has until the end of the third day to make the deposit, and as I said earlier, think of it as zero, one, two, three. Now, if an escrow check is made out to the sales associate personally, then the best course of action is to get your buyer to write another check after they void out the first one and make it payable to the broker's account. However, if you have my typical luck, and it's not practical because maybe it's their last check, then you should immediately, not within three days, mind you, <laughs> endorse the check and include the words for deposit only, and then put the name of your broker's escrow account, and then turn it over to your broker by the end of the next business day. Post-dated checks and insufficient funds. Now occasionally, a licensee may be given a post-dated check, which can be considered a promissory note, as an earnest money deposit. Now extreme caution should be taken when handling such deposits. First, you need to get the seller's approval before accepting a post-dated check. Once accepted, then the broker should secure the instrument in a proper place, this time the office safe would not be a bad idea, but only until the date the check becomes current and then immediately deposit the check into the broker's account. 
Now, a broker will not be held responsible for non-payment of an escrow check, provided the broker timely deposited the check into the escrow account when they were supposed to, and their own culpable negligence didn't cause the check to not be honored. In other words, they wrote a bad check, and the broker did everything they were supposed to do legally and proper. Therefore, the broker would not be held responsible, which I would hope not.